about four miles that way is the Gulf. Gene Teener's home along Florida's coast doesn't look like his neighbors. Is your house a bit of a curiosity around here? Uh, initially it was. Its round design and wall-to-wall -wall windows offer stunning views, but it all serves a bigger purpose, to take a beating from hurricanes. What do you really worry about when you know a hurricane is coming your way? Well, you worry about the wind blowing off the roof. You worry about the rain and you worry about flooding. Teener's home has weathered six hurricanes in five years, including Helene, a Category 4 monster that tore through the Gulf Coast last September. The inspector, when he came in, he said, if we have a hurricane, I'm coming here. Its aerodynamic cone shape is designed to reduce wind pressure by 30 percent. Oh, wow, yeah, they radiate out from the center of the house. Trusses, like spokes on a bike wheel, distribute storm forces evenly to keep the roof intact. And it's all anchored deep into the ground. It will open up and it'll lift like this. With flood vents to relieve water pressure and protect the foundation. With all of these features, Gene's home is built to withstand 190 mile per hour winds, a category five hurricane. <laughs> the house was built by Dell Tech, a family owned company in Asheville, North Carolina. With more than 5,000 homes worldwide, Dell Tech says their designs cost about 10% more, but they often stand alone after the storm. We're taking that great shape and we're pairing it with amazing materials. Matt Oblinsky is Dell Tech's lead engineer. What's your track record against storms? We're 99% um, successful. Is there such thing as a hurricane proof home? No, it's, we, we, we're very careful to say these are hurricane resistant. And the need is growing. Climate Central research shows warmer oceans are fueling stronger hurricanes, boosting wind speeds across the Atlantic last year. Stronger storms can mean more damage and higher insurance rates. I have a feeling that window is not going to do very well. It might not. Whoa. In South Carolina, the Insurance Institute of Business and Home Safety is also trying to make existing homes better. Researchers here batter houses with all kinds of disasters to find out what holds up best build houses and then you destroy them. Exactly, yes, and we do it all <laughs> in the name of science. Senior meteorologist Sarah Dillingham says this wall of more than 100 fans can simulate a Category 3 hurricane, putting roof systems to the test. If the roof flies off your house, it's kind of game over for the rest of the stuff in your home. Yes. So your roof is your first line of defense and it is what helps hold everything together on your home. She also recommends high-impact windows and doors and one crucial upgrade many overlook, a wind-rated garage door. Your garage door is your biggest opening of your home because when wind gets in, it will find the weakest link. These windows look pretty strong. For Gene Teener, investing in a storm-resilient home has bought him peace of mind. He even canceled his optional flood insurance, saving $12,000 a year. You put a little bit more money into it, and it lasts forever. It pays off in the long run. For Climate Central, I'm Ben Tracy in Crystal River, Florida.